Okay, I've got the lifters in. I've already put one uh, guide on right here. And look, you see the flat spots? All right, I'm gonna try to get them sort of flat, perpendicular this way. Because, see, they slide down over it. I took it out a while ago, so I can show you. But I wanna make sure that you get them down in there and they slide over them, okay? Yeah, I got oil in there. And when I rotate it, I'll suck that oil out and I'll put it in each one of these. And I'll keep them little grooves grooved with oil on them. Uh, now it's all about just uh, clean the push rods. I'm gonna tighten these down right here but it keeps the lifters from popping out and rotating all the way around off the cam lobes. There you go. Ah, voila. So now we take and, uh, hmm, what's next? Clean the uh, push rods one at a time. We go one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We'll get those clean. I could, if I wanted to, set the head on here for right now at this very moment, but I want to put a little bit more oil on it. I want to bring them into half position here. Or go ahead and put oil in it so that the oil will seep down around the rings, each one of the rings. They'll go from... Uh, Gap to gap to gap is what they'll do. If you put enough in there, I need to put a little more in there and a little more in there. But that's the idea. Uh, you don't want to scar it. Yep. And when I put the head on, I suck them all out and then put the hit gasket on. Put the head on. Torque it down. Put the push rods in. Put the uh, rocker arms on and torque those down, put the valve cover on it and poke stuff all in all them holes, keep air out. There you have it. Peace. And any shock button, all that other good shit. Bye.